Today we're going to be taking a look at Schneider. This guy is pretty damn amazing. I definitely recommend him. He is like a must-have character on every single team. Doesn't matter what the makeup is. If you don't have a Schneider on the team, you're definitely missing out because he is crazy damage. He's a boss killer. And he's really good towards, you know, fighting antagonists too. Like, it just it's a dream come true, this character. He's pretty much a blend between Herrick and Constantine. And he's like a perfect blend between the two, too, because he's basically like his drone works like Herrick, where you can kind of throw it on the wall and uh, then you can kind of uh, aim from there where you want to shoot it. So where you're aiming your actual weapon is where it's the, the drone is going to be shooting. So that's pretty much what the concept is with him. Um, he still has a good amount of health pool. He has 140 health on, on base. So that's pretty nice. Um, so he's he's definitely self-sustainable like he he doesn't it doesn't really take too much to kill him though because he can be squishy but um, if you're careful about it you can actually get by and, and still do nice melee and get around and also use your drone all the time so that's pretty nice um, right now we're going to be focusing on using the main weapon my favorite right now is the the rain of fire I've been using that a lot um, but we're going to go to the base weapon right now uh, another thing I really like is overclocking is awesome because that uh, reduces the the cooldown on the actual drone itself so that's really really important so 70 percent on that is awesome and then when you actually have full olive it's instant so whenever they break your your um your drone you can just instantly just throw it back out it's pretty awesome and another thing i'm running to is cold blood which uh, i feel like is extremely important because i've been messing around with different kinds of cards and this one is definitely the best one because when you do a, a finisher on any mob it could be a regular mob or whatever you go melee him if you kill him with melee or if you kill him with a grapple it pretty much turns you into an umber war dog where you're healing over time as long as you're not constantly taking damage because when you take damage your stress bar would just go fly up so that's really really nice so these these two cards are like amazing to me i'm trying to get the rare version of cold blood but uh, anyway, we're going to jump into a mission. I'm going to use the base weapon. That way you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we just made it into a mission. And uh, this is definitely a boss fight mission. So I wanted to really show off what uh, Schneider's like. Um, the reason why I call him a boss killer is because he literally, his drone does so much damage. You know, it's all about the drone. It's not about using your actual gun because your gun has unlimited ammo. But it's like a little pea shooter that <laughs> doesn't really do anything. Like, it's just... It does like 5 damage, 10 damage. Like watch, when I actually shoot something, oh, it does 3 damage to this guy. So basically the whole thing is using the drone. So you can put the drone anywhere just like you would with Herrick. So I could put it right here on this wall right here. And you see now it's aiming. So basically wherever I aim is where the drone is going to aim. So then you can kind of shoot him like that. Um, whenever you're trying to shoot your weapon, at least with the, the, the base uh, weapon, it actually, the drone is more like almost like hands gun where it's like a little explosion bullets that kind of just uh explode around the area so basically you can shoot on the ground or you can shoot directly at the target if you want it's all up to you how you want to play it but uh there goes one of the legs right here so we're going to take that out i spawned it right in front of the leg so then we can just destroy it in like two seconds there he goes you see so much damage so fast and then you can easily pull back the the drone whenever you want so pretty much the way it works is i'll put the drone down you see, and it has like a little health bar right in the center there. Um, you'll see his health start to go down when he's taking damage. And then what you can do is just recover him, bring him back into your, your tray. That way you can just kind of like put him someplace else. And you can keep doing this constantly. So there's no cooldown on that. You can just do that all the time. The cooldown happens when when you actually are um, when you actually are like taking damage when the actual drone dies. That's when the cooldown happens. So that's why it's really important to get uh, overclocked. Because see right there? He basically meleeed it and he instantly killed it. But I only have to wait 7 seconds. Versus waiting almost 20 seconds on a base. You know, without the card. So that's uh, definitely important. Let me kill this guy before he kills me. And I'm also using cold blood. You see cold blood lets it uh, makes it so that when I do a, a melee attack. It's basically unlimited stress. So I don't have to worry about like the stress at all for at least uh, six seconds, I believe. So it's a good amount of time. Let's destroy that guy, there we go. So pretty much I could do this all day. Just take people out like that. That's, that's what's really awesome, because he's basically like Herrick, where you can kind of throw him all over the place, but you don't have to actually sacrifice your own life like Herrick does. You're actually just sacrificing the drone's life, which is a lot better to manage than, you know, obviously dying, you know, <laughs> going down. So let's get around the corner here. I'm going to go get this other leg, take him out. Um, 
Schneider definitely takes some time to get used to. That's he's not like a super easy class to get into initially. So you have to kind of play with him and then and understand like how his power works and everything and where to put his drone. Like usually you don't want to put the drone like directly in somebody's face like this unless it's a, you know a mob that's not really going to melee. You know, that that's when you can get away with it. But um typically they'll melee the the drone right away. So you got to be really careful with that. But what I the reason why I like to spawn it directly right next to a mob like this is because it does so much damage so fast cuz every single pellet is hitting that guy right in his face. You know, so that's that's just amazing. You see like that. Boom, you see all that damage. It took all that damage. So once you actually master it, you can be able to do some nasty stuff with Snyder. You see like right there, boom, just spawn it right in his face. I don't really care to for them to melee it. Um, I know it all depends on your play style because most people would spawn it like way up there like that and then just kind of shoot it down. You know, and another thing you got to watch out for with this weapon is that you can damage yourself. So watch. See, see, I can't hurt myself. <laughs> Almost died right there. Damn. Well, I just screwed myself over. I can't spawn my drone yet. I have to actually stand up first. Stand up any second. There we go. Ooh, almost killed myself again. You know, he just, he's distracted, so I can go ahead and melee. So you can also use the drone as kind of distraction. You see how they kind of, like, flock to the drone? It's almost like they, they get so focused on trying to kill the drone that they forget that you exist. So I could pretty much put the drone right there. You see, now she's going to run away. She's trying to run away right now. I don't know where she went, though. Oh, there she is. Let me see if I can get to her. I'll put the drone right here. Oh, pfft, she ran over there on the other side. All right, never mind. Screw her. Where's the the leg? All right, I got to kill this right here. Boom. All right, let's, I think we got like one more leg left. We should be almost done here. Let me kill that guy over there on that side. See, now we got to take out the drone. We got to be careful because he can like one shot the damn drone. So I'm trying to like respawn it over and over so it doesn't get killed. It just does so much damage. You know, because the main thing is that you're going to be constantly doing damage. And that's the thing that's so beautiful about Schneider is that it's just consistent damage. You see that? Crazy. It's crazy. Schneider's crazy. That's why he's a must-have character. And it's mainly because he just destroys whatever the hell is in his way. Like, I'll, I'll put the drone up there. Let's let's do some damage on Constantine. Look, we already uh, got him down to a quarter health left. I am running out of ammo, so let me try to melee some of these guys. Oh, man, I screwed up. I screwed up real bad. Oh, I got so lucky. There we go. One down. Two down. See, he's trying to shoot the drone. He totally forgot I exist. Beautiful thing. Ah, you see, he just meleeed my drone. It's all good. I only wait seven seconds. I don't mind. So now what I'm going to do is spawn the drone right here. See, he's trying to shoot the drone right now. Okay, let me, uh, I'll put it right up here. Oh, so much damage. Look at that. I took his freaking health down, like, super quick. Alright, so let me get this real quick. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it. Alright, this is going to be a tough one. There we go. Alright, one more. There, a distraction, you see? I put the drone down for the distraction, so at least he took his eyes off of me for a second. Now, let me put the drone back. Take this guy out right now. Look at that damage. He can't even reach the thing to melee it. Okay, now my drone is taking damage, so let me hide back. Heal up. Let my drone heal up. And do it again. That's it. Mission complete. That's pretty much it. Snyder is amazing. You must 
get Schneider. If you don't have Schneider, get him now. He is ridiculous. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.